What is up? What is up? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I am your host, Jay Degrees, alongside my partner. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, where are we going? <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah. It's not that, do that It's fucking 219 episodes, bro. Like, if you don't know. <laughs> guys just switching the format. Just totally just doing something else. If you don't know by now, man. But if you don't know by now, this is the DCC podcast. A podcast formerly was about news, I guess. We kind of just talk about what we want to talk about. Um, yeah. We do whatever. A place to take a load off. Take a yeah. load off on our couch. If you just want to listen to like people talk about, you know, just random stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I try to stay in the realm of like, just like casual conversation. You know what I mean? Just like we debate certain things, but yeah. what we were doing in the beginning for the most part was we were like trying to find topics everybody else is talking about. And it's like, you end up being mundane, mundane. You end up repeating kind of opinions of another person yeah. of like, you know, a show you watch or whatever. So, and the internet already regurgitates the, the same, same things yeah. over and over. So, I feel like with us nowadays, it's more of you know whatever we want to talk about. If you want to share your opinion as well, you could join us in the comments on Instagram or YouTube at the Grease Couch sure. Chronicles. We have the voicemail set up on our link, so go ahead check it out. Link in the buys. Link in the buys. Um, before we do. Get uh, going with the show. We want to tell you to shop Magic Mind. Yes. Head yes. on over to magicmind.com where you can get a small little shot that you could take on the go. It has Lion's Mane for focus, um, B12 for and matcha for energy. For less stress, you have ashwagandha and turmeric. So for sure. why would you not want to take this little shot on the go, whether you're desk side, pool side, beach side, ocean side, you know? Yeah, me personally, it always keeps me focused when I'm trying to work out or trying to focus at work or just, you know, whatever, just trying to lock in for editing stuff audio audibly with the podcast, sitting with Gen Z, making sure, you know what I mean, we get the podcast looking right visually. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, make sure you shop magicmind.com, use code Couch Chronicles 20 yes. for 20% off your first time purchase. No, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, it's good get going and thank you guys so much for um you know i mean tapping in again with us you know, showing showing everybody that you know what i mean we're here to do business at the end of the day yes you know I mean? shot magic mind all right so let's let's switch up gears a little bit for today um what i have been noticing uh especially when you know i'm, I'm going um going around and seeing what you and um jace be tapping into um, these two guys, it, it, I mean, I don't know their names. You probably know their names. They're, um, they're videos, right? They're shorts. They, they have a lot of, uh, this or that shorts or, oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was able to find some that I thought would be interesting to bring here to our, um, platform. So let's, let's give it a try, you know? Um, and when you chop this up, Gen Z, tr- try to mimic their thing a little bit. I just want to <laughs> see something, you know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, you you be able to help her out with that. Um, yeah, coffee or tea? For me, uh, not for nothing. I'm a coffee drinker. <laughs> like I love tea, but coffee, coffee for me. Coffee or tea? Um, tea for me. For me, because I notice I don't really finish my cups of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I like I never like a full cup of coffee. You're not gonna see me like wow. Let me get another. So <laughs> for me, it is for <laughs> let me jump off of that. <laughs> For me, it is tea because I don't know. Like, for me, I've been drinking tea since I was young. I don't know. Maybe it's the British in me, but uh, <laughs> I'm always sipping tea. I'll finish three, four cups of tea in a day. Um, I've I've drank six cups of tea in a day before, so yeah. For me, it's definitely tea. Um, all right, let's get that. Um, reading or audiobook? So, like, would you rather physically read a book or you rather have a book be read to you? For me, I rather physically read the book. I feel like with audibles, like it's quick. You could 
quickly get distracted. Like, yeah, yeah. I need something to occupy me. I need to physically turn the pages. It almost turns into a podcast, and then your yeah. your mind's wandering. Yeah, like, yeah and I don't I don't like that. I, I need to physically hold something, and, and turn I'm not the pages. following along. Right? <laughs> yeah, because then it's like I'm reading with you reading. So yeah, I don't I don't weird. want that. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, pancakes or waffles? The great debate. Um, for me, it's giving homemade waffles. Yeah, I agree. I don't want the package toaster waffles. I need to make it myself. If it's like that, then it's waffles. With the waffle maker, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The I'm a homemade maker, waffle bar, person. Bro. All right, I got one. Do you prefer being beachside or riverside? Dude, that's a good one. This might be unpop uh <laughs> might be unpopular, right? Might yeah. be an unpopular opinion, but I'll take the river over the beach any day. Yeah, the river is Sorry. it's a lot better like I can't stand the sand being in miscellaneous areas like and, and it's, the river seems intimate. Yeah, you know what I mean, like it's uh, I am here either with my family or I am here just chilling. We had, we at the river, you know, what I mean vibes. You can have a little cookout if you want. Yeah, the that's beach true. Just seems way too public. You know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely. I can't stand the sand with the, the beach. Yeah, the sand, man. Take the sand out of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Um, morning person or night person? I'm definitely a morning person. I can't, I don't do nights. Like okay. I get sleepy. I'm obviously a night person. Yes. I don't think that was it's not a debate. I yeah. wish I could be a morning person, but it's just not the cards I was shuffled with. Um, I don't really get much sleep at night. I'm up all types of hours in the night, and it's just. It's, it's my strong suit, you know. What I mean, if you're gonna try and attack me, you attack me in the morning. <laughs> I'm at my strongest at night. <laughs> All right, are you a morning, not a morning person or a night person? What was I gonna say? Damn, I don't remember. I'm gonna that. let you catch it. Um, music or podcast while driving, or for this, it could be while working out. I guess, right? Mm. Music. Mm. I've tried working out to podcasts. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's not but bad like all. what I can't take is people looking at you and wondering why you're laughing or <laughs> like wondering why you're you're talking well, to yourself. Laugh. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I don't know. I've learned to really block people out at, at a, like a professional level at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what I was going to ask. I remember it now. Are you a, like a night gym goer or a morning gym goer? I've like, tried the prefer? morning and I don't know why it feels so drastically different, but I feel like for some reason, I don't know. It, this is definitely personally. This is what I feel personally. I feel like you're more productive when you get your workout done at night. You think so? But don't get me wrong. When you get it done in the morning, you feel more powerful. Yeah. Right? Get out the way. So I think there's benefits to both. But me personally. I just feel like I've just accomplished so much when I've worked out in the night and just like gotten it done. I was like, wow, this is such a good, good thing. Like, and I'm ready to just finish the day. Like, I feel like I've conquered the whole day when I just ended my day with a workout. Yeah. You know, and then I, I keep it going and I go for a walk. I go crazy. Um, I feel like a lot of people would definitely pick summer, but summer or winter. Like, for me, I want to, like, in the middle. If I had to choose, I would say summer because it's close to spring. I would prefer spring. <laughs> you said just none of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying summer. <laughs> I said I would choose summer because How about it's, spring? <laughs> <laughs> it's close to the spring. But okay. if I had to choose, I guess it would be summer because it's close to spring. Okay. Um, Me, obviously, summer. I like the summer. We're from Jamaica. It's always yeah, the hot, cold gives so, me a headache. Yeah. Cold is just, I'd rather hibernate. Um, <laughs> would you rather have a bad haircut or a bad hair dye? Dye? Like, what color would be so bad that it's like, yo, a pink. bad haircut, you have a chopped and screw, you can't style it no way. But the color on your hair, that's like crazy. Like, for you to have like... <laughs> Like it should look green. <laughs> it's like, supposed to be blonde. But imagine somebody push your your, your hairline yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a bad haircut over triumphs everything. Like you yeah. have the sickest fit on. It's like damn, your haircut sucks. Yeah, your hairline is all the way in yeah. freaking the back. 
give them two more two more um would you rather spend the day indoors or outdoors Mm, outdoors i definitely like to be outdoors more indoors outdoors (laughs) i want to throw it depends in there but it's like if you had to choose gun to your head (laughs) what did you say you said outdoors yes outdoors yeah i don't think there's much perks to being inside rather than like Laying on the bed or like Yeah, I don't want to do that. There's day. not really much with being inside, believe it or not. Like we saw with COVID. So yeah, I feel like the outdoors is always gonna win on this one. Mm-hmm. And um the last one shall be <laughs> That's a funny one. I'm gonna give it two because that was just hilarious. Would you rather be able to fly or breathe underwater? Mm, fly. Like breathing underwater to it me. It feels like a task. Yeah, I don't want to. Like do my that. power is to swim? Yeah. I, Get out of here, like bro. Like professional swimmers <laughs> can do that. I don't. I'd rather fly. Who's picking underwater with that <laughs> one? Jeez. At any inconvenience, I could just fly away. Bro, you could just jump in the air. Yeah, there's not water everywhere. Oh, wait, <laughs> let me find a river. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. This is why I don't see how men's like Aquaman is like. A thing like how are you a hero bro there's no water by me yeah you're you're out of here in the desert you're inconvenient um, yeah this is the last one would you rather see babies dressed as animals or animals dressed as humans what the hell, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um uh i'd rather see animals dressed as humans right <laughs> i think that's more fun <laughs> Anybody want to see a baby looking all cute in a tiger outfit? Yeah, no, I don't. I've seen babies dressed as, as animals. It's not funny. But put a put a horse in a tuxedo? <laughs> that would be hilarious. You got me, bro. You got me. Yeah, that's freaking hilarious. But that was our this or that. I thought that was fun. I'm going to try and see if we can bring that back. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Um, Let's get into... um. Another lighter topic. Uh, world's most dangerous animals. Right? I feel like a lot of people would be surprised on what the world's most dangerous animals are. Only because the one I've seen... Let me guess. Is a crocodile on there? Uh, let's go. It's a mosquito. How so? Yeah. This, this wasn't the one I was thinking of. But yeah, mosquitoes are extremely dangerous. Why? Mosquitoes are the most dangerous animal in the world killing 725,000 humans per year through spreading diseases such as malaria. Only female mosquitoes bite, making them um, the most dangerous. Wow. I think it's more so because, like, they can bite, let's say, one of, once a person with, like, the most dangerous disease, they go bite that another person who has nothing, then that person spreading it through either breathing the same air, sneezing, Touching a doorknob, another person touches the doorknob. Yeah, so it's like, I guess that's true. It's like a biological warfare with them. So, I was thinking like, you know, what I mean, like lions and nah, Komodo nah, dragons, yeah. snakes. That's why I was like, yo, people would be very surprised on the most dangerous animals or most dangerous animal, and then they start ranking them. You know, what I mean, rhinos, then rhinos number one, then leopard. Oh no, these are the most endangered animals. <laughs> That's like important they, enough. They're in danger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're not danger From us. us. They're <laughs> in danger. We're not damaging them. Or they're not damaging them. We're damaging them. They're not damaging us. We're damaging them. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a break right here. Um, we'll be back with some more stuff for you guys. Uh, keep it locked. This is DCC Podcast. All right, welcome back, welcome back Hope you enjoyed that And please get in contact I know It's been, what, maybe one or two episodes Since I dropped a, a beat on y'all But, you know what I mean Sometimes it's necessary, you know what I mean A little break in between a conversation or two You know Plus it's, you know, what, it's what we know for here So I wanted to at least give it back a little bit But um, this is the story um, A black man Got a job interview After he changed the name on his resume now he's suing for discrimination. Rightfully so. That's within reason for him he, to do. He changed his name to John Jabrowski. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wow. They thought he was Jew. You're so stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid for falling for that. And suddenly he got multiple interviews in a matter of days. This is according to uh, 
CBS News, Detroit. Black man has filed an employment discrimination lawsuit against a hotel in Detroit, Michigan, alleging the hotel only offered him a job interview after he changed the name on his resume, according to a copy of the lawsuit obtained by CNN. Dwight Jackson filed a lawsuit against the Sh Shinola Hotel on July 3rd, alleging he was denied a job when he applied as Dwight Jackson, but later offered an interview when he changed his name to John Jabrowski. The lawsuit alleges Johnson was denied a job in violation of Michigan Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act. We read one more paragraph. Between January and April 2024, Jackson, a 27-year-old black man, applied to multiple positions at the Shinola Hotel in downtown Detroit, including a role in the reception, according to the lawsuit. On its website, Shinola Hotel says it is a luxury hotel. Um, mm. so, I wonder if I would do that, if, if I'll get more jobs. <laughs> If I, I think I name. think a lot of jobs and I mean you're allowed to do whatever you want but I think a lot of jobs they want to hire familiarity right so what I mean by that is say you you're just walking into an establishment and this being a luxury hotel right mm -hmm. I put quotes on luxury by the way um, if you're just listening to it you're not watching it I quote it in luxury um, it's very face value with a lot of these places. So it's like, all right, a luxury hotel, off the top of your mind, you're probably not thinking it's a predominantly black hotel where it's like everyone who works there is black. Every, you know what I mean? The owners are black. You're not thinking that when you think luxury hotel, unless you're in Ghana or in Nigeria or something. So I feel like a lot of these luxury hotel quotations, again, they want to have their forward facing employees be of the you know more lighter complexion because it feels yeah. like you know they're more receiving to their i guess that's clientele true. so it's this still america racism. after it's all. still discrimination so i think he's rightfully so in pursuing a discrimination lawsuit because hey if i'm dwight jackson no interview no nothing i'm still dwight jackson but now i'm an alias jacob jabrowski mm -hmm. and i'm getting the job this is obvious discrimination because he course. also probably changed his ethnicity as well, saying that he's a white man, because you know the ethnicity you're supposed to click what you are. But you can you so. can choose to click other or you can do whatever you want. You can yeah. honestly do whatever you want. But, but I'm when saying you do show up for the interview, they're gonna make their decision when you leave. They're gonna be like, well, that was obviously a black person. And of if course, we, but if we choose not to hire a black person, we're not gonna hire that person. But in that case, he wins because if I if I change nothing but my name on the resume, I've already applied here before. You denied me. My credentials are okay, clearly, because all I did was change my name. But he is in a violation himself. How so? Falsifying legal documents. No, a resume is not a legal document. Mm, that is true. So it's a very tricky situation. I don't think so. I just feel like it's clear what has happened here. Hold this lawsuit. Like, because <laughs> if... If my it credentials, is discrimination. Yes, it's 100 percent. If my credentials were fine enough for you to consider Jacob Jabrowski, then like, why can't it be okay if I'm Dwight? Like, I get it. There are white Dwights, yeah. so you're using that. Not only that, you're using my name to say, "Yo, predominantly all the Dwights we know are black." So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, imagine. Like, no, I, like. I don't know. I feel like. In the world we're living in now, this is crazy. I feel like discrimination has taken a toll on the job market. Yeah, where, um, definitely. You almost know 100% whether or not you're going to get a job as a person of color. And people of color know this. Yeah. Non-people of color, I don't know how your job... Um, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know how your job uh, applying process is, but I can tell you as being someone of color... And being qualified in all realms of qualifications in the field of careers that I pursue, I don't understand it half the time. And I see people with the same struggles being people of color. So, yeah, um, it is very understandable what's going on when it comes to hiring people of color. So, you know, we almost feel like we need to play every trick in the book to even be considered for an interview. And I don't wrong him for doing what he did and suing them because it's like we're so many years quotes again past segregation past enslavement mm -hmm. and it's 
almost as if it's like um like a new version yeah when you're just trying to get a job to feed your family so i don't know i hope he wins and i hope you know i mean i hope they I learn hope they a learn. lesson from yeah <laughs> i genuinely hope they learn a lesson from this they probably like, won't but you know i hope they do yeah you can only hope yeah can only hope that's that on news shout out to dwight aka yeah. jacob jabrowski hope, hope you win so what else we got for them in there in here okay them spam textures are getting real personal <laughs> never had a conversation with this person at all they didn't even say hi this it's a random number obviously spam or whatever you know what i mean scam what are you what are you planning to do today what are you planning to do today they're these little scammers man like what do you what <laughs> introduce yourself i don't know what are you <laughs> what you trying to get into <laughs> like the hell i try to scam you it's crazy man but anyway that wasn't nothing um i just got the text that's why um the content formula right yeah um i feel like a lot of people feel like they need to go into a niche which don't don't get me wrong right like works whatever works mm -hmm. or work whatever works but the mass i don't want to say i'm hating it or i'm just kind of You're trying noticing, to yeah, yeah i'm observing. noticing and i'm trying to see what what needs to be done i guess or what we should say but mm -hmm. anyway it's the get ready with me contents and the numerous amount of gym new gym goers now gym content Professional. creators professionals <laughs> out of all of a sudden so i feel like have we kind of pigeonholed ourselves as a i guess group of social media people have we pigeoned ourselves into um because when i was maybe 18 19 we were churning out wild content it was like you know what i mean vine was a thing i guess or whatever yeah. and it's like people were just creative in so much different ways I, th I think what what happened now is that um, people are seeing, yo, a whole bunch of people get sponsorships and brand deals through this type of content. And they they might want that, even though that's not their field. You you might wake up today and was like, yo, I want to start going to the gym. All of a sudden you're making like gym content on these are the exercises I do. Like not everybody is, this is not, this might not be your niche. Like I get the people who always wanted to do it, but they didn't have the confidence, but like, let's not all run to the gym goer type content all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. just like when it was quarantine time and everybody flooded OF. Every yeah, single person yeah, created an OF account. Now they're they're jumping rope on there. They're cooking on there. <laughs> like jumping rope on your own. Man. <laughs> hey, you're <laughs> Pay me twenty nine ninety nine a month to see me jump rope. New high score. Hey. <laughs> it's sick. Sorry, but um, I feel like yeah, like I'm jaded. I, like I'm like yo I'm no I don't care bro I don't care what you're getting ready for you don't even know where they're going yeah they're just getting ready get ready with me <laughs> where are you going I feel what people have to understand about con and I mean me personally I haven't mastered the 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 diet the what is it the formula to make content yeah, yeah. right but from what I've seen on the people who are successful in creating content is you're telling a story through your content of who you are as a person, right? So you you that's might interesting to look at it like that. I never thought. Yeah, about like because I see a lot of people they if you're an athlete, a lot of your content is going to the gym, right? But also you're you're showing people what meals you eat and the type of stuff you may do to get into the space of what ever at um field you're in as far as athletics so a lot of people you can't jock other people's style because that's not you yeah that's how i feel honestly like i feel like everyone's kind of copying everybody i yeah. don't know who originated this so it's like i don't know who you are because you're taking this person's content and yeah. you're trying to spin it to your own yeah, like did i see this before oh no it's a different person yeah but you look like the other person because you're doing the same thing that they're doing same angles and everything like yeah. i said i want to get into an alternative 
content personally for like my own personal stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, do I do a get ready with me or do I do a gym content? Like, cause it's, yeah. it's like one or the other, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's just like, I feel like the whole feel of content creator is just like this or that <laughs> again. You know <laughs> I mean? So it's just weird. I feel like we need a huge creative shift in the content realm. You know? I, I just feel like a lot of people need to understand that do they can else. make money their own way by showing who they are rather than jocking somebody else's content style. Because the only reason why social media is fun or should be fun is because you see other people in their own realm and space. I don't want to see 50 Rebecca's. Yeah. I've, I already see Rebecca. I don't need to see Rebecca 2.0, 2.3, 2.4. You know what I'm saying? Like, same person. Be who you are and let us all get together in a community because everybody's bringing different, like, tools. Why? What sense does it make to have 50 hammers in your tool, <laughs> in your toolbox? Yeah, she's We jaded. need other tools. Social media is jaded, bro. I'm yeah. to the point where like I don't even want to go on it. Like it's like nothing entertaining. No one's doing anything that's like, oh man, I need to watch that. I need to see that. Yeah, man. I set screen my limit to ter- thirty down. minutes and then I'm off. Yeah, screen time is down, bro. Yeah. Which is good, I guess. Shout out to that. But the moment you've all been waiting for, we're here. Which, believe it or not, I kind of feel like music has been a little bit lackluster because, you know what I mean? It's a Cash Cobain summer, obviously. Um, yeah. Everything he's been a part of or touched, it's been crazy. Mm-hmm. But um, in other musical news, um, Glorilla's TGIF is, is kind of doing it. You know yeah. what I mean? Honestly. You hear it all I the time. I went out last weekend and um, I think it was on Reap. Pete at least four times. Is that the one that says 7 p.m. Yep. Friday? <laughs> so this is uh, for Gen Z. This is Glorilla's TGIF. Um, right there for my degrees. visual notices. Um, it has been 95 degrees. <laughs> that, I guess that's Apparently why. Apparently, a lot of women are single. Yeah. yeah. They ain't got no nigga. <laughs> and the nigga don't got them. I saw Rihanna singing it to ASAP Rocky. It was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's like an anthem. You know what I mean? It's the women's anthem right now for the summer. Um, it is hot. Since there's no more city girls, they mm-hmm. don't got the summer. So, yeah. Shout outs to Glorilla. She's killing it. Yep. And, um Wow, man! From like her beginning to now, I feel like she's been one of the artists that just kept kept on the um. And I like and I like the fact that she's in her own lane. Like once you hear a song, you know that like you can identify a Glorilla song because she does her own thing. And I love the fact that um, I think she signed to Yo Gotti. Yeah. So shout outs to both of them. Like he knows how to work his artists. Like Like, because she's been on top. I love good artist development, man. Yes. Talk about that all the time. She's been on top since she came out. Like I like yeah, she might have made songs that weren't for me, but it was for who her audience is. It's for her audience. Yes. (laughs) And it's and it's good. For sure. So shout outs to Glorilla again. For sure. (laughs) And um, we got Sauce Walker. With Sauce Father 2. Is that the guy that you were playing in yeah, the car? Yeah, I was playing in Yeah, the he's a good storyteller. Yeah, Sauce Father 2, man. Um, honestly, I know, like, he... If you're if you're a first-time listener of Sauce Walker, it sounds like he's just yelling. <laughs> but understand this. When people are passionate about what they're saying, and when people are speaking just... Like, they're speaking from, like, the soul. Mm-hmm. It's going to sound that way. And yep. every bar, every story he tells, uh, like, you put your, like, I feel like you can put yourself in his shoes. And it's like, damn, like. Not only that, damn, too. bro. It's honestly, a, he's such a good artist. Not only that, too. I feel like when we're, when you're listening to him, it feels like you're in the car and your friend is telling you a story. Yeah. And it's just it's like, comfortable. Damn. Yeah. Like, honestly, when, when I was listening to it yesterday when we was in the car or the damn. other day when we was in the car, I'm like, I was taking it in as he's talking to me yeah. and he's telling me a story. And I'm like, it's like, damn, right? Yeah. <laughs> honestly. It's good. Yeah. I like his music. It's different. Nah, if you're interested in storytelling and just like, of course, lyricism, because he's extremely lyrical. Yeah, he man. reminds me of the Griselda. Yeah, uh, Benny the Butcher. Yeah. Or even the, um, I forgot the other guy's name. Um, 
Conway, Conway the Machine. Yeah. That's the mm-hmm. dude who has the weird face. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about his name, but it was eluding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Conway the Machine. Yeah. But yeah, Sauce Walker, Sauce Father, too. Check it out. Um, if you're into storytelling, you're into that real shit. Um, yeah, check it out. Sauce Walker, Sauce Father, too. Put it up, mm-hmm. Gen Z. Help him out. Um, we're here. Uh, we definitely didn't want to forget about Glow Nude. Make sure you shop Glow Nude. Yes, you know what guys. I mean? for, sure. for the summer life. and for the winter, you can follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. 100% organic skincare for your skin, for every skin. Soaps in stock, scrubs in stock. Serums are out of stock, but you could always pre order. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram again. Send us a DM for your orders at glow.nude. I want to tell you guys a random fact. For this episode, do you know a group of cats is called a clouder? A what? A group of grown cats is called a clouder. Like cloud with E R? C L O W uh, D E R. Clouder. clouder. Yeah. Did they say why? Because that's so <laughs> <No>. random. <laughs> and a group of crows is called a murderer. A murderer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> A random fact. Well, there's been mur- a murder, right? That's when they show up. Yeah. Yeah, it makes. Sense. I assume that makes that makes sense. The clouder doesn't make any so, sense. So now you know. Don't a group of kittens, uh, cats is now called pooses. <laughs> or a piece. <laughs> it's called a clouder. <laughs> God, God, God. <laughs> Pieces. <laughs> Yeah, goose is geese. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, make sure you as well shop Magic Mind, mm-hmm. uh, mental health shot, not an energy booster replacement. You know, I mean, it's uh, all natural ingredients, nootropics, um, matcha, matcha, ashwagandha, ashwagandha, turmeric, B twelve, all the good stuff, all your vitamins, vitamin B twelve. Make sure you shop Magic Mind. Use code Couch Chronicles twenty to get. 20% off your first time purchase. Mm-hmm. And as always, we're war with ourselves, we're war with everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.